In today's video, we are talking about how to make money investing during a recession. People may feel anxious about investing their money during a recession when a lot of things are down. A lot of people may be nervous about investing during a recession, but history has shown us that there are great opportunities that we can take advantage of during a recession. I'm going to be sharing my most valuable tips on how to make money investing in a recession. These are things that have helped me grow my net worth to over a million dollars. The first item I want to talk about in order to make money investing during a recession is to diversify your investments. This is what I have done. I have diversified my investments. All that means is that you are investing in different types of investments and it doesn't have to be different asset classes altogether. For example, the stock market and real estate, you can invest in just the stock market, but diversify in your stock market investments. For example, you can buy an index fund, which has a whole bunch of companies or stocks inside of just the one index fund. You can also buy stocks and bonds, or you can even invest in REITs in the stock market, real estate investment trusts. There are a number of different investments you can make in the stock market in order to diversify your investments. But if you are holding all of your investments in one single company, that is very risky, especially during a recession, because if that company isn't going to pull through the recession, then you've lost all of your investment. I personally like investing in an index fund. If you want to know which one that is, I have another video, which I will leave a link to above. You can check that out later on. And then I also have a few different individual stocks and I'm not currently investing in bonds because I don't mind having that risk of just being in stocks because I'm not looking to pull my money out anytime soon. And I personally do invest in actual physical properties in real estate. So I'm not just investing in one physical property and relying on that property to create all of my income for me. I have multiple properties and my stock market investments. So I'm able to diversify my investments that way. And this is really important during a recession because if things are going down, if our investments in the stock market are dropping, then we can have our real estate investments, the cash flow we are collecting every month from renters that can help offset the drops in the stock market. And if you're not investing in both real estate and the stock market, just make sure that you do not invest in only one company because that is super risky during a recession. Going along with investing in the stock market, tip number two is to take advantage of low prices on stock market investments. Since it is a recession, we are going to see a drop in the stock market. And as long as we feel comfortable that the companies or the funds we are investing in are going to make it through the recession, we can definitely stock up while things are on sale. We want to make sure that we have that long-term perspective that we're not expecting to get rich overnight because we have no idea how long the recession is going to last. The stock market investments could drop even further or they could come back up very quickly. We just aren't sure. But if we have that long-term mindset, then we are going to make a lot better decisions with our investments. And we're not going to be so scared if the investments continue to drop. And I was able to take advantage of buying things when they were on sell during 2020 when something happened and everything in the stock market dropped drastically. I put some money in, but I knew what I was investing in would make it over the long term. I was able to capitalize on that drop in the stock market. And speaking of the stock market, if you are interested in investing in the stock market, but aren't really sure how to do that, I have a free masterclass about how to invest in the stock market very simply and how you can have the option to work with me. I will leave a link below in the description. You can click on that and watch the free masterclass. And this way you will know exactly how to take advantage of a recession. And then the third way on how to make money investing during a recession is to look for distressed assets. We can look for the opportunities that are currently out there during a recession. There could be a lot of foreclosed properties or properties that are going to be foreclosed on and we could help someone out. 
while making money ourselves. There is a lot of risk investing in distressed assets, but we can take a look at that risk and make sure that we are comfortable with that and make sure that we have an exit strategy when we are ready. We want to make sure and do our research, do our homework and feel comfortable with what we are investing in. But during a recession, it is a good time to look for those distressed assets. And then item number four is to invest in yourself. This way you can gain knowledge and skills and enhance your own earning potential and have financial resilience. During a recession, usually things are slower, so you could have extra time to take a certain course or get a certain certification in order to boost your own skills and increase that earning potential. Or of course, you can be educating yourself on finances or on investing. And we want to make sure that we are doing self-care during a recession because it can be a very stressful time. We want to make sure that we are taking care of our own health and making sure that we have a really strong mindset, still keeping that abundance mindset, especially when things around us may not seem so abundant. And if you do want help creating that abundance mindset, I do have another video that I created. I will leave a link above. You can click on that and check it out later on. Comment below and tell me one way you are investing in yourself. Some different ways that I've been able to invest in myself is to sign up for coaching and also sign up for a course and read books or listen to books. And speaking of books, I do have my book, You Will Be Financially Free, where I do talk about mindset and investing your money and how you actually can become financially free. So I will leave a link to my book below in the description. You can click on that and get your own copy. And then tip number five is to stay disciplined and be patient. We want to make sure that we are being patient with ourselves and with our money, especially our investments during a recession, because we are going to see our investments drop significantly. And we want to be patient and realize they are going to continue to rise over the long term, even though they are dropping in the short term and we want to continue with our investing keep that discipline we don't want to become fearful and pull all of our investments out or completely stop investing we want to stay the course and keep that long-term perspective I know this has definitely helped me. I have seen my investments drop significantly, but I know they are going to come back up. So I leave them alone and I continue to invest my money even when the stock market is down. That way I'm taking advantage of dollar cost averaging, which means I continue to invest in the same asset no matter the price. And by doing so, sometimes I buy when it's low, sometimes I buy when it's high, but dollar cost averaging means that it averages out that cost over time. So while yes, a recession can be scary and there is some risk with investing, we can do our own homework. We can remember to be patient and stay disciplined and we can take advantage of the recession and make our money work for us and we can continue to make money during the recession. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and share it with someone else who would like to hear this information and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell to get notified on when I post new videos. And if you wanna see even more content from me, make sure and check out the videos on the side of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.